you doing today? In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to repair or replace your Xbox One controller audio jack. If you have this audio jack, which is an audio microphone jack, if it's not working for some reason or you have to move it around, wiggle it around in order to get a connection through it, it's uh, really fixed. I would recommend you guys to fix it first. And if you cannot fix it, it's not repairable, you can just simply change it. And I'll leave the link in the description where you can buy them and how you change them right now. So first thing first, you want to remove the battery or battery cover, depends. And then right at the back of there's a sticker. You have to peel off the center part of this sticker right here in the middle. You have to rip it apart. But there's a screw right underneath. So grab a cutter and just rip this paper off right there. And just for you guys, if you guys may ask, this one is an Xbox One model 1708. It applies to most of the models, but if you have any doubt. All right, once you got this screw right there, it's showing up. What you want to do, you want to put your fingernails right on the outside of this ledge right here, on the back side. And you want to force it apart. And it might need a little more force, but it will come out. Just peel it off. You might break some of these uh, grips right here, but that's normal. There's no other way to taking it off easy. So you just have to put your finger right here and just like a can opener, pull it out. So that side, same thing right here. Make sure you don't have a long nails, otherwise you're gonna bend your nails. Put it right there and pull it out. All right, once you got it to this position, there's two screws on, on this side and two on the other side, and one in the middle. I suggest you guys to grab always one of these kits. This is an iFix tool kit. It comes with all the prying tools that you need and all the bits you need. In this case, we're gonna use a T8 and T6, I'm guessing. Uh, this one I'm gonna use a T2, I guess. Yep, so we're gonna remove this one. Don't worry too about mismatching the screws, they're all the same size. At least the exterior ones. These are the four screws. You can just start cleaning it too, but there's some kind of dead skin all over it. All right. Once you remove the screws right there, you just simply want to lift up the bottom cover and as soon as you lift up let me just put it back in for a second you see those battery connectors right there as soon as i pick up they stay right on the board so when you put it back make sure the battery connectors are right there otherwise you want to put it this way and you're not going to have any connectors make sure the connectors are inside the case all right once we are down here first thing you want to do you want to remove the this wi-fi cable right here just peel it, uh, lift it up, and that's it. Next, we want to remove one tiny screw right there, and one out all the way on the other side. They are both the same size, so again, don't worry about that. All right, once you remove all those, the last one is easy. Just put your, hold this bottom plate in there with two fingers and grab this top side and just peel it off. Your, this joystick is gonna come off a little bit like that. That's okay. You can just take it apart if you want to. And you can just pull it out. You can go ahead and clean it up with a toothbrush. There's a lots of crumbs everywhere. Alright, and if you got this thing coming off, don't worry about it. Anyway, so lift up this motherboard right here. There's only one connector that holds it. This connector right there. And as soon as I lift up this one, the audio jack just came up. The audio jack sits right there. So there's your audio jack. And when you peel this board off this board, there is a connector that goes right in 
to each other this one right here goes into this one all right now we're gonna now that we have this audio jack these legs on the audio jack they have they are like a one two three four five six seven legs they touch all the boards right here one two see these round ones the golden ones it touches it. you want to clean these pads nicely with an alcohol with a q-tip grab a q-tip and alcohol and clean up all these pads right here uh, next let me see if i can get focus next what you want to do with this jack otherwise you can replace it by the new one or it is not too badly damaged it's mostly this uh, legs right here if you pay attention one of them is lower the other one it just doesn't make any contact so you just have to actually pull them a little higher bend them over yeah bend them inward and i mean outward just like that about 60 degrees so if you look now that this one is really nice and bent over now we're gonna bend this one too There we go. You can see all the legs are a little folded a little higher, so now we have better tension on the contacts. So once you press it down on the board, you're gonna make a nice contact. So that's the problem with this one is, is that the contacts on the board don't touch this one. The problem is not inside here, it is mostly on the contacts. And if it, this doesn't work, just replace the whole thing. So yeah, now we're gonna grab the controller. We're gonna place this one back, just a flat side on the bottom cover here, where there's no contact. What a right there. Oh, before I do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a Q-tip and clean up the board. Just scrub the board, make sure it's nice and clean. Don't worry about these vibrators that come up. It's a tiny motor with a weight on them. You see, it's, it was kind of dirty. And there we have it. All right, let's put it on this position. Grab the jack, put it right there, and bring the board right over, align it, and press down. Make sure you press it in the middle where the connector is right there. That connector, it must be all the way in. Make sure you pull this jack out here. Your cable might go right underneath this Kapton tape, or it might go on top, doesn't make any difference. You can have it over or under. Push down the Wi Fi cable right there. It's just a uh, push down, you don't have to slide it, you just pull it up towards the ceiling and it goes down straight. These are the things that makes it vibrate. So this is the tiny, smaller weight and the bigger weight. And then just spin, it just start vibrating the whole thing. And if you don't like it, just cut the cable. All right, now we're gonna put the two screws, one on this side and one all the way on the other side. I really like these screwdrivers. It feels really nice on hand. If you guys really like opening your stuff, cleaning your stuff, get one of these. It will last you a lifetime. Alright. Now that we have the bottom cover on, flip it over. Make sure the joysticks are nice and aligned. Grab the joystick cover. Put it in. 
grab the top cover if you want to clean it go ahead and clean it and just put it on top flip it over and make sure the cables are not uh, disturbing grab the bottom cover remember this connected the battery connectors they must go inside the power so slide it down there and push these two triggers backward a little bit if, if yours doesn't go down it's because of that these two triggers just push them a little bit inward and it will just get right inside there and it will just go down easy change your a bit and then put the last four screws right at the bottom cover and i hope you guys like this video if you guys like it please click that thumbs up button and if you have any questions or any requests leave them in the comment area and i'll try to answer them as soon as i can and hopefully this resolves your issue with an audio jack replacing it is just replacing it but i would suggest always fixing it first or repairing it if it doesn't last if it doesn't work then go ahead and replace it there we go you have to actually squeeze it to make sure it goes right in make sure all the jack everything is aligned now you want to grab the every corner you just put it right on top once it's on top and you're just gonna push it in and you wanna hear the clicks do the same thing on this side put it right on top and press it down and obviously the last thing double check make sure you have the contacts inside this one is always inside make sure this side is already inside too and then put the battery back in and you're all set thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in my next video.